Hi, do you recognize where I am? I'm upstairs in my bedroom. I've got somebody on my lap. Oh, oh, can you see? <laughs> There's your tail. Who is this? This is Boo. Say hi, Boo. You're not gonna say hi? Whoops, my hand's in the way. You're not gonna say hi? <laughs> I brought a book up here to read to you, and she thinks she's gonna sit here and listen to it too. So we'll see how it goes. What do you think, Boo? Are you going to listen to a book with us? <laughs> I hope so. The book I brought up here is called When I Was Young in the Mountains by Cynthia Ryland. And it's illustrated by Diane Good. When I Was Young in the Mountains. When I was young in the mountains, grandfather came home in the evening, covered with the black dust of a coal mine. Only his lips were clean, and he used them to kiss the top of my head. Hmm. When I was young in the mountains, grandmother spread the table with hot cornbread pinto beans, and fried okra. Have you ever tried okra? I have. I like it. Pinto beans, too. Cornbread, too. It's fun to try new things. Later, in the middle of the night, she walked through the grass with me to the Johnny house and held my hand in the dark I promised never to eat more than one serving of okra again. <laughs> you know what a Johnny house is? It's an outhouse. People used to have a special little building away from their home where they would use the bathroom because they didn't have a toilet inside. When I was young in the mountains, we walked across the cow pasture and through the woods carrying our towels. The swimming hole was dark and muddy and we sometimes saw snakes, but we jumped in anyway. <laughs> On our way home, we stopped at Mr. Crawford's for a mound of white butter. Mr. Crawford and Mrs. Crawford looked alike, and they always smelled of sweet milk. It looks as though Mr. and Mrs. Crawford have a store. And they must have cows, if they have milk, and they smell like milk, and they have butter. When I was young in the mountains, we pumped pails of water from the well at the bottom of the hill and heated the water to fill round tin tubs for our bath. You know why they're pumping water from the well? Because they don't have a faucet in their house. Afterward, we stood in front of the old black stove, shivering and giggling, while Grandmother heated cocoa on top. See, there are the tubs they took their baths in. <laughs> I love that stove. You know what? When I was small like that, my grandma and grandpa had a cabin up north, and it didn't have a toilet on the inside, and it didn't have a faucet on the inside. So if we wanted water, we pumped water from the well, like these kids did. If I wanted a bath, I took a bath in the tub, just like they did. And there was a Johnny house, only we called it an outhouse. When I was young in the mountains, we went to church in the schoolhouse on Sundays, and sometimes walked with the congregation through the cow pasture to the dark swimming hole 
for baptisms. This is their schoolhouse. It's not very big, is it? Not at all. I wonder what it would be like to go to school in a small schoolhouse like that. My cousin Peter was laid back into the water and his white shirt stuck to him. And my grandmother cried. What's happening in this picture? Peter is becoming baptized. Hmm. When I was young in the mountains, we listened to frogs sing at dusk and awoke to cowbells outside our windows. Sometimes a black snake came in the yard and my grandmother would threaten it with a hoe. There it is, there's the hoe. That's what she used in the garden. You know what that black snake was looking for? Little chicks, maybe. Or maybe some eggs. If it didn't leave, she used the hoe to kill it. Four of us once draped a very long snake, dead of course, across our necks for a photograph. That is one big snake, isn't it? I know why she killed it. She was saving her chickens. But snakes have to eat too, don't they? And that's all it wanted, was some supper. When I was young in the mountains, we sat on the porch swing in the evenings, and Grandfather sharpened my pencils with his pocket knife. Grandmother sometimes shelled beans and sometimes braided my hair. The dogs lay around us, and the stars sparkled in the sky. A bobwhite whistled in the forest. Bob, bob, bob white. Do you know what a bobwhite is? A bobwhite is a bird. I don't think I've ever heard one, and I don't think I've ever seen one. But supposedly, the noise they make sounds like bob, 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 white. Who knew? When I was young in the mountains, I never wanted to go to the ocean, and I never wanted to go to the desert. I never wanted to go anywhere else in the world for I was in the mountains, and that was always enough. And that is the end. That was a good book. What did you think? I liked it. I loved the pictures. I always like the pictures the best. What did you think, Boo? Did you like that book, too? Did you even stay awake for it? <laughs> I don't think she cared very much. But I enjoyed reading to you. I hope you enjoyed this book, too. Love you tons. Have a great day. And for now, I'm going to send you a kiss, okay? You ready? Catch it. Good job. <laughs>